It's Saturday, May 15th, and Edie is scheduled to arrive at the Memphis Metropolitan Airport for her day as honorary parade chairman of the Cotton Festival. Promptly at 10 a.m., the big American jetliner rolled up to the ramp where the Texarkana Band and the welcoming committee awaited her arrival. And here she is, emerging from the plane with R.L. Borchardt, Muriel sales manager, and Henry Bollinger, Edie's press representative. Once on the ground, she's greeted by Mayor William B. Ingram of the city of Memphis and is made welcome to the festival. She meets the mayor's two sons. Also in attendance are local representatives of press, radio, and television who are proud to have Edie in their community on this auspicious occasion. The mayor, of course, presents Edie with a symbolic key to the city. Not to be outdone, our mural people have seen to it that the mayor is properly supplied with some of the product, as well as with a handsome mural lighter as a memento of the day. The photographers get busy immediately to document the moment for movie and still cameras, and like all photographers, they ask for just one more from his honor and our gracious representative. Meanwhile, other members of the official welcoming party are greeting our cigar people in the background, and the band continues to blare forth a loud welcome all its own. A special car for the use of our spokeswoman is lettered Edie Adams, Honorary Parade Marshal. A few final words with the mayor's welcoming party at the airport, and Edie will step into the car to be whisked off for one of her busiest days. First stop is the Samuelson Cigar Company headquarters. Here comes Miss Muriel with the special escort who stayed with her throughout the day. Once inside, Edie is greeted by Don Fisher as well as a few well-chosen display pieces indicating the importance of the visit. Next, in the lobby of the Rivermont Club, Edie is greeted by a complete mural display, and she pauses for a moment to shake hands with the manager. And off she goes again in the official car, seen here entering the long drive that leads to the home of Mrs. Daisy Fisher, outstanding civic leader of Memphis. Here, too, our mural sales lady is welcomed by members of the Society of the Memphi, whose yellow shirts proclaim them first citizens of the city. A brief conversation with some of the Samuelson personnel and off goes the party once again to a popular shopping center where the store manager, his employees and crowds gathered to meet and greet our gal for warm words, a friendly smile, and of course you might know the usual autographs which are part and parcel of any public appearance of a personality so well known and loved as Edie Adams. Next stop, a cat's drug outlet on the outskirts of Memphis, where Edie is escorted by our genial sales manager and the ever-present sheriff's escort. Once inside, Edie spends some time with a charming sales clerk and checks with her on the mural displays and the sales of the product itself. Another stop on Edie's busy day in Memphis was at the St. Jude's Hospital where she met and talked with some of her younger television fans. At the same time, Mr. Palumbo of the hospital staff presented Edie with an honorary service award, which she graciously and proudly accepts. One more honor for our lovely spokeswoman. But the day is far from over, and Edie continues on, meeting people at the retail level and spreading her own brand of goodwill and charm wherever she goes. She's pleased to note the counter displays and the coverage of her visit in Memphis. 
Back at another drug center, Edie pauses to buy a can of hairspray, and the photographer outside calls her attention to a cardboard cutout. Here it is, nighttime, as she inspects the handsome Muriel float. It's a long day, and she's ready for a little clowning with the photographer. But the parade gets underway, and here she is riding atop the marshal's convertible, accompanied by her husband, Marty Mills, and R.L. Borchardt. As you see, they don't miss a chance to do some sampling as they toss two packs to the crowds lining the route of the parade. Here again, that impressive Muriel float with its two charming hostesses telling one and all as it passed the reviewing stand that Edie Adams is in town for Muriel. Later that evening, Edie and Marty engage in a little horseplay before attending one of the Cotton Festival balls in the Peabody Hotel. And just to show that it's not all work at these affairs, here's an impromptu chorus line of Marty Mills, Dick Borchardt, Edie, Henry Bollinger, and Southern sales manager Forrest Wolf. They've been going since early that morning, and they finally conclude Edie's day at the Cotton Festival at dinner with Mrs. Daisy Fisher. A couple of months later, Edie made two new commercials for us and recorded a premium album. Here's one of the commercials. In August, Edie spent two whole days at the RCA studios in Hollywood recording her new Muriel album, Showtime on Broadway. The album will be issued this spring with great songs from Broadway like this. Another new commercial for the three ten cent sizes has Edie playing three parts. It's being seen in color on our shows right now. Currently, our Muriel star is in Rome, Italy, shooting a feature picture with Rex Harrison for United Artists. But Edie is well indoctrinated commercially. Even when purchasing a bouquet from a flower lady in St. Peter's Square, she finds a way to reward the lady. And at the same time, she gets in a plug for Muriel cigars. Here she is, just before Christmas, spreading a little international goodwill. Even a jovial Italian Santa Claus comes in for his share of Edie's charm and cigar salesmanship. Well, he may never be able to buy them in the corner cigar store in Rome, but Santa seems to agree it's just as much fun to receive as it is to give especially when the giver is the lovely American signora. Grazia, grazia molto. Next, a ride around the square as Edie is helped into a carriage. And we can't help thinking that wherever Edie goes, there goes a fine symbol for us. A charming lady who not only does our commercials for television and appears on our counter cards and bus posters, but who sells Muriel wherever she is to the benefit of us all. We've shown you just a few of Edie's sideline activities on behalf of Muriel during 1965. And as she comes more and more into prominence during the new year, we know her star will continue to shine. And wherever she goes, whatever she does, Muriel cigars will be there too.